Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Singaporean Talks Money. So today, I'll be talking about the Ledger Nano S, which I've gotten a review of it, um, the setup, and also the price, and roughly why I got a hardware slash cold wallet for my crypto. So in my previous video, talking about cryptocurrency, I mentioned about hot and cold wallets, the differences between them. Um, so you can click in the link in the description below to find out more. As I'm planning to do some form of dollar cost averaging into crypto, though not monthly, where I'll put a small proportion of my salary into this fund, and after accumulation, I will be then buy in. So with that in mind, I've gotten a hardware wallet to store my crypto in. I've decided to get the Ledger Nano S and in today's video, I'll be going through the process and the review of using it. So for hardware wallet, it is very very important to buy it from the official store itself and not from any third party seller as your 24 word seed and pin code will be keyed into the wallet for transfers of your crypto and buying from a third party could mean that the wallet could be compromised and not safe. So for me at the beginning, I've seen Ledger before, the Ledger Nano X and Nano S, and I actually also further checked uh, whether are there another kind of uh, hardware wallet available, and I found the Tracer as well. But in the end, I chose to get a Ledger Nano S, and delivery took about two weeks after I made the purchase. And I managed to get a 20% discount code on it. So after getting the Nano S, it looks uh, pretty slick and came with uh, a few accessories. So as you can see from the image which I got from buybitcoinworldwide.com. So the Legend Nano comes in a box and inside of it there is mainly the more um, useful ones are the USB cable, the Legend Nano S and also um, three pieces of uh, recovery word uh, paper that you will need to write your 24 words sit on. So setting up the hardware wallet. So firstly, you'll be prompt to um, plug it into your computer because the Nano S requires it to be plugged on, then it can be on. And after plugging it in, you will need to set it up with first a passcode. So this passcode serves as a first barrier of safety if you lose your physical hardware wallet. And the passcode, if you input it wrongly for three times, it will wipe out all of the details in the wallet. So this then moves us on to the next important step. And this is the 24 word seed phrase. So before buying the hardware wallet, I was reading up on the safety and how exactly is this device able to secure the cryptos that you're storing? So one very, very important thing highlighted in every thread is to not, not let anyone know of your 24 word seed phrase. This is so crucial that methods of storing it goes back to pen and paper. Because if you snap a photo of it in your phone, it is very dangerous as people can hack and access it meaning that they would have access to your crypto assets. For me, I know that uh, we are not talking about millions here, but money is still money, and losing even a dollar hurts. <laughs> so do remember to keep your 24 word seed phrase securely somewhere. After keying the passcode, the 24 word seed phrase will appear in on the Nano S for you to write it down. So if your company computer breaks down or the hardware becomes corrupted, you can still download the same wallet software again and use the paper backup to get your crypto back. So as you can see from the image, this is how the recovery uh, phrase look like and you, you have to record down the 24 word that appears on your device. So getting or transferring your cryptos from the hot wallet to the cold wallet. So hot wallet is definitely on the exchange and the cold wallet would be your Ledger Nano S. 
so after you set up your nano s you can now get ready to download ledger live app to your computer and this will also mean that you have to download the apps into your nano s so the setup is pretty simple and ledger does provide video tutorials that you can refer to you will need to in download individual apps for each crypto into nano s before you can transfer for me i currently only hold bitcoin and ether so i only need to download the bitcoin app and the ether app do note that the nano s has a smaller storage hence if you do hold other alternative coins getting the nano x would be a better idea as you will be able to download more apps so overall I hope that this uh, review has been interesting. For me, I bought the um, Nano S at a price of about hundred uh, Sing dollar, and I think that uh, being able to use the twenty percent discount code was uh, good. So if you do need a twenty percent discount code, you can reach out to me. So in other news, the Elon Musk. Uh, has just pushed Bitcoin up. So um, just uh, today, 29 uh, January 2021, Bitcoin jumped as much as 14% to a two-week high after Elon Musk tagged the cryptocurrency Bitcoin in his Twitter biography. Currently, every word he says now makes a huge impact. Even on GameStop, which surged 50% after Musk tweeted game stonk. Along with a link to the Reddit Wall Street Bets stock trading discussion group. And where they all affectionately refer to him as Papa Musk. So it's crazy how the stock market reacts nowadays. It could be irrational or just something that we have never seen before. It is so exciting yet scary at the same time. As you really don't know whether the stock you're holding would surge or drop based on anything that is said. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Do share it if you have enjoyed the content, give a thumbs up for support and hit the subscribe button for more content from me. Thank you.